Hello, my name is Jeff Montgomery and welcome back to some more Super League. Hello and welcome back to Super League. It's week number two and if you missed last week, where have you been? With Sterling now on to Coutinho. Puts the ball across nicely towards Balotelli who goes for a long range effort. And Lloris spills it towards Sturridge. And Sturridge scores for Liverpool. He opens the scoring. Lloris could not hold the ball. He spilled it straight back towards Daniel Sturridge who is waiting there to just nod it in with his head. Can't go past Glenn Johnson. Does go past Glenn Johnson. Lorente with the ball in. Leeds Steiner on the right hand side of the post just behind Alberto Moreno. He's too small to fight Leeds Steiner in the air. Lovely ball in from Lorente. But what a header from Leeds Steiner. Yes, that's right. Liverpool fell at the last hurdle in the last 10 minutes and dropped a goal against Juventus. The final score ended up 1 all. But Toffman saw some positives from that one. So, Chris. Your game against Juventus didn't exactly go as planned. What can you take away from that? Well, I certainly think we've got some positives to take away from the game on that one. We had a lot of the possession, we had a lot of the shots. Um, unfortunately, we just couldn't finish those shots, but definitely the passing was there. Really, really key passes. Good movement as well. Unlucky on the day, I believe. Well, after the Juventus game, you've now got Manchester City. What do you think about this game coming up? Well, Manchester City are a kind of team that can sometimes switch it on at a moment's notice and then can sometimes just not turn up to a game. So, hopefully we'll catch them on the uh, on the latter there. But, who knows? Who knows? We go in there, we do our training, we get ready for the game and um, we turn up, we do the job that we want to do. Fingers crossed that is the case. But we work hard on the training ground. We work hard on the tactics. And as long as we can do that, and as long as we can go out there and give it our best, then we've certainly got a good shot. There were rumours circulating around last season, at the end of the season, of course, when Manchester City came away empty-handed, that Manuel Pellegrini might be sacked. What do you think about that? Well, that's a that's kind of issue that I really... That I don't need to commentate on uh, and I don't need to give an opinion on look Manuel Pellegrini is a very very good manager and he's proven that in, in the past before but um, whether or not you know the, the guys at, at Manchester City up there in the, on the board think that, that he sh it should continue or whether or not he shouldn't continue that is absolutely no, co no concern of mine I just want to uh, concentrate on the game coming up and, uh, and, keep, my, uh, and keep my squad in order now, there's still time left before the end of the transfer window. Do you think you will be dabbling in the market anymore? Well, to be honest, when that signing from Christian Eriksen came through, um, that was a big chunk of the transfer budget. So whether or not we do any signings, it depends on whether or not there is a decent deal out there to be had. Um, do I see any signings in the, uh, in the very near future? No, I don't see any new signings in the near future. I think we've got a, a squad there that can that can uh, that can compete in the league. I think that we'll do a really really good job of trying to get uh, up there amongst them. Like I said, the media says with the we're about 14th place. I don't think so. I think that we're going to be up there definitely within the top six. I think we're going to be in the, uh, up there in the top six this season. So whether or not I see any new uh, new transfers, I don't think I do see any new transfers. No. Well, thank you very much for your time, Chris Haig. I know that you're just about to get into the game now, so best of luck today. Cheers, Jeff. Thank you very much. Liverpool looking to improve on last week's result, their last game, when they were at home, and they were held at home when they played it against Juventus. Well, I think they could have played a lot better in that 1-1. One -one. In fact, I think they were lucky, and I think they will lose here. Manchester City have made just the one change. Joe Hart plays today in place of Wilfredo Caballero, who's injured. Vincent Company starts alongside Elekin Mangala in the heart of defence. Sami Nasri starts with James Milner out wide. Sergio Aguero is the sole striker. This is the Liverpool side. Simon Mignolet starts in goal. Dayan Lovren plays with Martin Skirtle in central defence. Coutinho starts with Steven Gerrard in central midfield. 
Mario Balotelli is the sole striker today. Second game of the season, and there's no love lost between this pair. A lot of history down the years, and uh, there might be one or two sparks flying here. Bakary Sanya. Well, there was a lot of speculation. Would it happen? Would it not? It has happened, and here he is. Here he is. Uh, the negotiations took a while, but um, I think it will be worth it because he is a talented player. Lee Mason is the ref today. Playing in front of their own supporters after opening day. It's always great. Parading the trophy beforehand. Real carnival atmosphere in front of their own fans here. And uh, you would expect that to have an effect on the pitch. Expect a positive, maybe winning performance from them. Up against a side that probably is a mid-table side. I don't think they're going to be worrying about relegation. Yaya Torre on the edge of Liverpool's box now. What can you do with it? Feeds a little ball in towards Aguero. And it's up in the air. Cleared only as far as Skirtle, who does manage to get the ball clear up towards Ericsson now. And on the right-hand side, we have Daniel Sturridge. He's got plenty of space to run into now as Daniel Sturridge. And he wins the ball in towards a waiting Balotelli. And Balotelli has scored for Liverpool. He's opened the scoring against one of his old clubs. Certainly his old Premier League club. Balotelli, an absolute thorn in Manchester City's side. I'm surprised he didn't do that uh, that celebration there. But there we go, Balotelli opens the scoring. It's 1-0. Steven Gerrard lays it off towards Eriksen. And that's a great ball in from Coutinho. And Eriksen with a wonderful header. It was a lovely bit of play from Liverpool. But Eriksen flying himself at the ball between the two centre-backs there and Joe Hart getting a very good hand on it. And now it's Coutinho with the corner. He whips it in. It's cleared only as far as the edge of the box with Gerrard who goes for the shot. It's blocked away, but it's come back towards Gerrard. And the goal was gaping. Steven Gerrard on the volley with an absolutely clinical finish. And it looks as if Joe Hart may have made a mistake there. That was an absolutely wonderful goal. There's the initial shot. Joe Hart goes begging there. The ball given back by Balotelli. And Steven Gerrard on the rebound, on the volley, makes it 2 0 now to Liverpool. A good ball down now towards Modric, Fernandinho with a load of space on the edge of the box. Fernandinho goes it alone and that is not very far off the right hand side post there for Fernandinho. Manchester City trying to find a way back into it. The ball with Alberto Moreno down the left hand side towards Sterling. A lovely little bit of combination play and Sterling can break now. He's through the back line, he goes for the quick shot but Joe Hart palms that away for another corner. It's Glenn Johnson down this right hand side towards Sturridge. Coutinho dancing through three players. Balotelli turns his man, a beautiful, beautiful turn. And Balotelli again scores against his old club, makes it 3 0. Balotelli didn't seem to have anywhere to go, but a lovely little turn made him beat the two central defenders. And then the goal was absolutely gaping. There's the turn. It was a wonderful shot. Slid down into the bottom left. Joe Hart. Had no chance there. It may have took just the slightest little nicks off that centre-back right there. But even then, Joe Hart had no chance. Manchester City with Modric. Sturridge can't handle it. Aguero towards Modric again. And that shot goes high and wide from Modric there. Man City can't get anything on target today. The ball with Eriksen. Manages to come through to Balotelli. Feeds a wonderful ball through to Sterling on the left-hand side. Turns back, Balotelli. Oh, and that was a real chance for his hat-trick, Balotelli. I th really think he should have done better with that. This, it uh, flies harmlessly wide of the left post. Well, there is the referee playing for half-time. It's 3-0 here. The losing team will want to get into the dressing room and reassess. The winning team have been superb. Well, they have. Their manager hasn't got a lot to say. As for the other one, he's got a lot of work to do in this next 15 minutes. So we reach half time. 3 0 the score with Liverpool leading. Let's take a look at the highlights from the first half and then we'll be back over to your commentary team for the rest of the match. Well, here we are up in the studio and the game so far has been all Liverpool. From the first minute, 
to the last minute of that first half there. They could have got more goals. They haven't got more goals. It's 3-0 at half time. Jeff, we have down on the sidelines. What do you think of the match so far, Jeff? Yeah, are you all right, Jeff? I'd tell you something. Liverpool are going absolutely fucking mental once again. Last week, couldn't hit the barn door at all, could they? This week, they've hit it three times. Can't believe it. Well, you know, it might be middle of summer as well, Jeff. But I'll tell you something. I'm fucking cold. I'm fucking cold here. My mum used to say to me, don't leave the house without a coat. So I got my fucking coat on. Well, Jeff, that's, that's wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. Do you think um, Liverpool can go ahead now and wrap this up in the second half, Jeff? Well, I think they wrapped it up in the fucking first half. I don't think they need a fucking second. I reckon Man City should be in there on the, on the blower to the referee trying to give him a sake or something because that's all they're going to get out of this fucking game. I don't even think they're going to fucking score. Well, again, thank you very much, Jeff, for your time. And uh, now it's time to go back for the second half. No worries, Jeff. No worries. Sami and Nasri back to Sanya and Yaya Torre. Nice little bit of play between them two with Aguero. And now Yaya Torre turns back on the inside. Aguero feeds the ball to Milner. And there is the snapshot, really, from Yaya Torre. But it goes harmlessly wide. And now Raheem Sterling towards Coutinho. And back again to Raheem Sterling. The fast left winger whips the ball in towards Balotelli. And that is straight at heart in the end. No trouble and no goals. Modric turns his man quite nicely there and lays it off towards Aguero, who lays it off back to Yaya Torre and the shot. Minule plucks out of the air. It doesn't seem to be Manchester City's day today. The ball forward towards Eriksen. Gerrard. Plays it through to Balotelli, who managed to muscle his way through. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, Balotelli. Oh, how can he miss that? He had all the goal going for him and he decides to slice it down the left-hand side of the post, totally missing the goal. Some substitutions to tell you about now as David Silva comes on for Sami and Nasri for Manchester City. Not managed to do much today, has Sami and Nasri, so Silva's coming on. And Liverpool have done three substitutions, Lana Markovic and Torre on for Sturridge, Skirtle and Felipe Coutinho. Mangala, yes, it's Navas now for Manchester City down the right-hand side, gives it to Sanya, back to Mangala. Mangala with the snapshot, and how did Silva miss that? It came back out to him, and he took a punt at it, and just totally missed that left-hand side of the net there, putting it and slicing it totally and utterly wide. And there's another substitution as Modric comes off for Stefan Jovetic, a thorn in Toffman's side. Asus Navas with the throw in towards Klishi. Klishi manages to feed the ball towards Stevan Jovetic. He's got space now. Back towards Stevan Jovetic. The amount of space that he's got. He's uh, playing with the defence and the shot. And it's in. Stevan Jovetic has scored for Manchester City. It might be too little too late. Well, it certainly is. It's 90th minute. But the thorn in Toffman's side. Stevan Jovetic steps up once again to put one past him. Can't quite believe it. The defender did try to come in to cover it. He didn't manage to get it. And Mignolet didn't again. manage to save it either towards his near post. You could say that that's unacceptable to get beaten from there. But it is Stevan Jovetic. And he can score from anywhere. 3-1. And the final whistle goes now on the Manchester City versus Liverpool match. It is Liverpool 3, Manchester City 1. I can't quite believe it. They came here as underdogs. They came here with many people expecting them to lose and they leave 3-1 up away as well in the Etihad. It's a very, very, very good result that many didn't see coming at all. And it gives them four points in the league so far from two games. Well, we're here up in the studio and that was a fantastic game. Not much going on in the second half there other than a very late goal from Manchester City. But our man on the touchline, Jeff... What did you think about that? You said they weren't going to score. Well, I can't fucking believe it, yeah. This is me eating my fucking hat. Because I can't believe Manchester City scored. Not only that, but I can't believe fucking Stefan Yorosic scored. A little fucking Stefan Yorosic. 
So, Jeff, do you reckon Liverpool can carry this on now, the momentum from this game? Because this was a very, very big win. 3-1 away at the Etihad as well. Do you reckon they can carry like this on into the next game, Jeff? Well, I don't... Well, I don't know. I mean... I mean, it all depends, doesn't it? Because, I mean, last week, they couldn't hit the fucking barn door, but this week, they did a fucking good job, I think. So, it depends on whether or not Liverpool can manage to turn it up, but I think they can. I think they can take another three points next week, Jeff. Well, thank you very much, Jeff. Insightful, as always. But that is going to be it for the end of this week's show. Join us next week. Can Liverpool carry on? And can Liverpool grab another win in their quest to be the European League champions, the Super League champions? Join us next time. I've been Jeff Montgomery, and as always, stay safe.